morning, good evening, or whatever time today it is in which you're tuning in again to me. This is LaWanda Shields with Two Cute Life Lessons. And if you're new, then welcome. Welcome to my channel. Like my hat. Like my hat. This is my Christian space. A Christian channel for Christians and believers. Um, I'm if you don't know, if you can't tell by the voice, I'm Southern and so I wanted to put on a southern hat to finish this up. But uh, that's neither here nor there. But we're going to be talking today about walls. And we're going to be finishing our conversation on Rahab. Like I said, she's one of my favorite biblical people uh, because of her shady past. So she has a shady past because, as we know, she was a harlot. And we know that a harlot was a prostitute. And if you don't know what that is, please look it up because I'm not going into any further detail. But... Um, she has a special assignment. She is one placed on a wall. And we'll talk about walls a little more in depth later. But she is stationed on a wall. Her home is on a wall. And because of her advantage point of being on the wall, she is able to help the spies that sneak in and spy out the land. And so... What I will say about a wall, we know a wall is there for protection. It protects, it keeps safe, it keeps things in, it keeps things out. And she has the uh, unique position of being on a wall. And it was no accident that her home was on that wall. God strategically placed her and her establishment on the wall. And you may be saying, how, why? Why would you even say that because of what she did for a living? But I think it's because, well, really it is because of her profession that no one thought it was strange that these strange men were visiting with her. You know, if it was a decent woman and strange men showed up at her, her house, you know, it might cause a stir, it might cause a problem. But because of her profession, it did not really raise a whole lot of eyebrows. And she was able to help hide the spies that came to spy out the land. Before we go any further into this video, could you give this video a like, a thumbs up, and, and subscribe? So that'll help it get out to more people. And it is so amazing that, as I said in my earlier video, she had faith. And if you didn't watch it, please go back and watch it. I will uh, leave a link below. She had the faith enough to believe in our God. Even though she was not a Christian. She was a Gentile. But she knew she said, y'all God is, is God. And so I'm going to hide you. But what I need you to do is when you get out of here, when y'all come back, she says, make sure you save me and my family. And the other key here is she said, save my family. She didn't just say, save me. She said, save me and my family. And so she does. She saved, she, in essence, because of her faith, because of her belief, she saves the lives of not just herself, but her entire family. She saves the lives of spies. And then she puts herself in the lineage of Jesus Christ. What an awesome testimony. What an awesome way to uh, be a part of history. By being stationed on a wall, she, in essence, was a wall herself. She was a, a wall of protection for the spies. And I think that's really unique, but that's neither here nor there. And so that concludes my brief talk on Rahab and her positioning on the wall. And we'll continue later with more um, lessons on the wall and on Rahab about the, uh, there's so much to glean from her about the um, string that she lets out of the window. But we'll talk about that in the next video. So I will see you guys later. And in case I forgot, which I probably did, don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up, to subscribe and to follow me. And I'm sorry, but I'm just, I'm just country. So I'll see you guys later in the next video.